So we've got the curtain in place. It's all snapped together. It goes all the way around. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our elastic cords. And the elastic cords in the corner, depending on how we position them, we can take a little bit of slack out of the bottom. So here's an elastic cord setup the way it came in your kit. We have two D-rings, the screws for the D-rings. One of the clips is on the cord. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the cord to the desired length and you're gonna put this last clip on. It's just a clip and a collar, okay? So let's show you how to do that. So the best place for the elastic cord is right here in the gap. And there's my D-ring right here. It's pushing my corner right in the back. Second D-ring is just gonna go right back here in the corner below the first one, right into the floor. Now, if you happen to be going into masonry, the curtain needs to go around something, so you're gonna have to get it into masonry, concrete or something like that. And the only difference between drilling into masonry and drilling into wood is you need a masonry drill bit, and then you need a little plastic insert to receive the screw. Almost like you're hanging a, a mirror in drywall. You know, you put those little plastic anchors in there to hold the screw. Well, you put the same sort of plastic anchor in the concrete so that it doesn't chip away at the concrete. That's it. Now we're gonna hang our elastic cord. Before I do any cutting, I'm gonna hook it up. This cord stretches two to one, but you don't wanna pull it with maximum tension. So I'm just gonna hook that thing up there. I want it taut, but I don't want it super taut. I think that would be good. So what I'm gonna do is I need some scissors. Trent, you wanna cut it right there? Good. And I need the collar. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this collar on first. And the other clip. This other clip. Make sure you get it all the way down to the hilt. Get it all the way in there. All the way in, pull down, locks on. Okay, now I stretch down to my other D-ring. And now my curtain has something to go around. And I have a nice crisp corner when this thing's Get snapped to the side, it'll have a nice crisp corner like that. So here's my curved track and I want to put my D-ring right in here. I don't want to really go in this crack, so I think I'll go right over here. So I want to get that D-ring as close as that, to that track as possible. It's really right against that track there. 